and let's get into reacts to see how the internet did react to the 2-2 draw with Jordan today with South Korea. A lot of good reactions around the internet so far. This first one, look at this passion coming in for the uh, national anthem. Love it. Humans on the, the caption says, so, uh, Song Hyun Min's captain moments look awesome today. They he look died, awesome like, every day. Aura, that's what they say. And the internet says, yeah, look how proud he is. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love Sonny and his passion for the national team. It's so great. Um, the next one says, this feels like 2018 face and everything how he is um, aging backwards. Yeah, look how young he looks. He's, he he's look getting younger. Young. He's getting, getting younger. Young. younger. Everyone's he's worried getting, about him getting He's getting old. younger, getting better. <laughs> He um, was saying, "When's you know? When's he gonna? When's um, he gonna go over the hill? Everything. Everyone's worried about it. It's like he's getting younger, mate. It's Benjamin Button. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Um, this next one is Hyung Min Son in shock with a decision that the referee was giving. I mean, another heavy-handed uh, performance from the opposition on Hyung Min Son today. I, and look I, at that reaction. If I remember rightly, this is when he had a free kick shot and it went out for a corner. It got deflected. Yeah. The referee didn't see it. Yeah. I think we're all like that. But Sonny, he's got the most expressive face. I love it. it happened a couple of times today in the game, to be fair, yeah. where the ref just gave the complete wrong decision. <laughs> Son just can't believe it. Um, this is Hyung Min Son in the mix zone after the game, just shrugging his shoulders. Being, I don't know what he's shrugging at, but <laughs> it's, it's, the caption is when someone asks you a question, you don't know the answer. <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably what happened. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Brilliant. This is uh, one of the coaches, the Jordanian coaches, asking for Hyung Min Son uh, for a selfie after the game. That's, that's star power. And you've got the opposition coming for selfies. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know if you remember back in the day, I think Brazil played a, a really small country. And then after the game, all the other team and the other players are just going up to Neymar and just getting selfies with him. That's the kind of level Son's at now. He's not really smiling there. Maybe it's because he's with, a, you know, they just they just got a point off him. Maybe he's a bit bitter about it. I'm not sure. Yeah. He's kind of half smiling. He's not angry, but... But, you know, that's the kind of man he is. He'll still take the picture with you. Of course, though. he's a man of the people, Hume Bin Son. Um, had a talk with them after the game. This is Son giving the team a bit of a pep talk after the game. Uh, the same was being was saw after the last game as well. But this is kind of a, a thing within the South Korean camp. They all get together in a huddle after the game. Everyone, everyone's listening to every word he says. Look at him. When Everyone's Son so, speaks, you listen. Hundred percent. No, no one says anything apart from listening to Human Son when he's talking. He commands authority. Absolutely. Um, this is another tweet saying, told them it's time to go around the stadium to greet the fans. And look at that, Sonny getting all the players. You must walk around the stadium Come and on, say thank you to the fans. That, that's what I love about Sonny. He always makes sure the fan, you know, he shows appreciation to the fans. Mm. And he always makes sure he's all the forefront. He gets everyone involved as well. Uh, so that's captain material. I and as you it. say, man of the people, man our Hyung Min Son. Brilliant. Not that tongue out, a tongue out again. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he has his tongue out when he, when he does the celebration. Well, the What's last the two, the last two career, it was was it the last career game he had his tongue out? It wasn't for a celebration, but I can't remember what it was, was for. It, has he done it for Spurs before? Has he done the tongue out? I can't remember. I do he remember been... Son having his tongue out, but I'm not sure if it was the last career game or if it was from a Spurs game. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure either, but he's making a thing of it. Go on, Son. <laughs> That's boy. his new thing. Yeah, the tongue out, the tongue out, the celebration. Come on. And uh, some more leadership qualities coming through. Just a son just geeing up his teammates. Always encouraging. That's what I love about him. Always encouraging his teammates. Never stop him. And this is the celebration for the goal as well. He was happy to get off the mark. Look at that relief coming through after the game that he had in, against Bahrain. Yeah, and he, uh, exactly. He knew he had a poor game last week. And I think he was, it was uh, important for him to just get off, off the mark, even though it was from the penalty spot. And you can yeah. see that coming through. And hopefully, I don't think he's done this tournament. <laughs> Absolutely. He's going to finish Golden Boot. Uh, this next one is me thinking how to vanish Klinsman from existence. <laughs> <laughs> just, just if you think hard enough, maybe they'll replace the manager. <laughs> Look, he is coming under pressure. Look, to be fair, you know, watching Korea, you would hope they you know, would do a bit better in terms of just the level of performance. It's not really there yet. They're still very much relying on individuals. So I understand the frustration. But at the end of the day... They're on four points after two games. You don't want to go over overboard. It's true, but tactically, I'd want to see more from Klinsman, to be honest. As much as, you know, Spurs legend, and I love him very much. But as a manager, especially in the South Korean setup, he's not really um, showing that tactical now, is he? I completely agree. Uh, and you could argue maybe he's getting over the line at the moment because of the level of opposition. And once he faces like a Japan or, you know, someone better, maybe they'll come unstuck. We'll have to wait and see. But... 
it's these are the games he's not going to be judged on unless he's not unless he's losing them. But he's he's getting over the line now. But the real tests are yet to come. Yeah, another one of Sonny with his uh, tongue out doing the celebration. And here's Son again running away and doing his celebration um, and getting his team back uh, to restart the game. I think his, this is when he might go to get the keeper shirt. Oh, the keeper shirt, yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. There you nice go. touch, Look, really nice touch. And clearly it was planned because the guy is waiting on the sideline for it. And there you go. Lovely moment from him and Son. Um, Show support for the keeper um, who's uh, suffered his ACL. It must be very tough for him because he went into the. Uh, he goes into the tournament as number one keeper. Missed the World Cup as well. Uh, his name, Kim. Kim Seung Gyu. Uh, so our support is with him. Hopefully, he makes a speedy recovery. But it's a lovely bit of a. That was a lovely moment from Son. Really, Absolutely. Really nice. Just shows the man that he is. And apparently, in 2019, he did the same thing for another injured keeper after oh, really? he scored in the Asia Cup. So he's got, he's got previous for it as well. Next one is Sonny um, giving a nice clap and bow to the fans. Always showing his respects, isn't he? It said the the caption says attention salute finally hearing son's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look. is that what he's saying? Attention is that, is that what he's like? He's kind of like military leader. Bam, love it. <laughs> Next up is um, another one of uh, celebration, uh, just uh, holding hands as they run off. Yeah, a bit of an awkward one. Doesn't quite grasp the yeah. hand. <laughs> it looks like he's holding his hand a bit. Love it. Nice. What does the caption say on that one? The caption says. Um, uh, Imbom and Captain scored a goal but couldn't couldn't enjoy it comfortably. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of an, only an awkward enjoyment. And next one is um, he looks so exhausted. He actually does, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. He looks very tired after that game, Sonny. Yeah, this is, a, this is an interview in Korean so I don't know what he's saying but just looking at him he does look very, very tired. Obviously he was a lot of it was resting on his shoulders in this game. He had to take a lot of responsibility, didn't he? Um, As he like always does, to be we fair. We were saying during the game, didn't we? It was like a one-man mission to drive him back in the game at times from human son. So it was a monumental effort and it clearly took a lot out of him. Hopefully get some rest before the uh, Malaysia game. Always giving 100%. Oh, never mind 100%. You're always giving 200% exactly. uh, our human son. Um, a nice touch uh, from Son here again. Uh, we're just showing him getting the goalkeeper's jersey oh, and yeah. showing his respects. Next up, uh, Squawker. Most goals scored for South Korea in Asian Cup history. Ten for Lee Dong-guk, seven for Choi soon Hu, and six for Hyung-min Son. Do you reckon, do you reckon, yeah. Yeah, do you reckon he can this tournament? Why not? Four more goals. I think he could do it. Why not? I reckon you do it just against Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Another one from Squawk saying South Korea now unbeaten in each of their last 12 group stage games at the Asia Cup. Um, only two draws in there as well. One of them coming today, obviously. A stoppage time equaliser against Jordan keeps the run going. Yeah, 100%. That's important to do that. You want to keep that momentum. As long as the run keeps going, that'll, that'll uh, it's a good run to have because Asia Cup, even for a team like South Korea, it's... Um, you know they're not like one of the best, and they're one of the best teams in the tournament. But uh, you know you could always you're always likely to have a slip up at some point. But they've been very consistent. Yeah. Um, next up is just Sonny walking off the pitch with the captain's armband round his wrist instead of his uh, um, <laughs> bicep. Yeah, is he a bit? Do you reckon he's a bit pissed off? He's just he knackered. I reckon. Maybe he's knackered. Yeah, he definitely is. You know, you know what Sonny's like. The mentality that he has wants to go win every game. Yeah, I'm sure. Even though he, after the game, he said he, you know, it was a good point and stuff. But I'm sure. He's thinking we should have won that game, especially with that keeper. He definitely thinks yeah. we should have won that game. And look, and look at just the expressions on the faces before the game and after the game. If you go down to the next tweet, look how happy he is before the game. And then after the game, he's just knackered. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's captain material, isn't he? So, he? He just looks like a, the aura of a captain, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. He's so proud to be captain of In South Korea. In the moment. Love it. Damn, don't piss him off. This is Nassib uh, having some words with Hyung Min Son uh, during the game. I remember seeing that actually during the game. Yeah, and I was, I was like, like, you stay away from Sonny. Yeah, don't, you, don't what try. do you think you're doing? You can't intimidate Sonny. Sonny doesn't get intimidated. Exactly. You probably uh, try and wrap him up and intimidate him and he'll invite you around for dinner or something. You know? I mean, that's what kind of a guy <laughs> he is. Kill you of kindness. Yeah. <laughs> but today, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.